my chew toy channel today we're going to install a front lip on a g26 um so unfortunately for me i know purists are going to say that you know this isn't worth it um but i just want to go with uh first a uh inexpensive front lip um that uh is non you know bmw non m performance lip uh it's a, in a uh, black gloss and i want to try to you know do a fit within my g26 um so first what i'm going to do is uh you know i assemble the three pieces together um, what I also noticed that if you tighten the, the screws a little bit too tight, it's going to uh, create a little bubble here from the screw. So i got to loosen that up just a little bit um, to make that go back down. Uh, pretty much it's a new piece, but what I'm going to do is also I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And then I'm actually going to um, put a ceramic coating on it, at least on the visible parts, right? So obviously I'm not going to um, ceramic coat the pieces that are going to get this double-sided tapes. Um, but, you know, I just want to... Look, um, be coated before I actually put it on there. So, uh, what you notice here on the G26 is that um, there are 12 screw holes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And uh, you notice that there's these slots um, within uh, the actual front lip. And if we go underneath the car here, you notice that oh, that's not far enough that they have these cutouts here, and then they have the screws here. Um, so that would fit nicely um, within uh, those screw holes. And basically they didn't provide you screws because you're gonna reuse these holes here. So these are cut and measured exactly just to fit these grooves, the notches, and also uh, reuse of the, uh, the screws. So it should be a perfect fit. So again, what I'm gonna do here, this is gonna be visible on the front. This is gonna be obviously visible here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put double-sided tape back here. I'm going to put double-sided tape uh, within these areas here, right? Not attached to the screw holes uh, to just get a, a better fit. Then I'll put double-sided tape back here as well. Uh, so now I'm just going to clean this up and I'm going to do a ceramic coat on it and then uh, wait for it to dry a little bit. In the meantime, I'll remove the 12 screws and then get that ready to go. Okay, next what I want to do is um, actually put a um, ceramic coating on the... Um, Front, front lip. Um, so what I'm using today is I'm using um, C quartz uh, from CarPro UK 3.0. I uh, have my applicator and I'm going to apply uh, really just the uh, ceramic coating on it. I've already um, just uh, cleaned up the front lip of any dust, fingerprints and such. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, just do a clear coat. Ceramic coat, sorry. Alright, so I'm going to apply uh, some liquid on the applicator get that damp and then I'm just gonna lift up the front lip and start applying some of the uh, ceramic coating to it. Okay, I'm gonna give it time to set up and flash as well so it should probably take like a minute or so so I'm just gonna do um, half the uh, front lip I can come back and uh, wipe off all the excess. excess. You see the haze a little bit here, so it looks like it's ready to go. Uh, the weather is uh, in the New York City 90 degree temperature, so it's going to flash pretty quick. Access to build up with the uh, ceramic coating in one area. So that's why we're what, just wiping off the extra. Okay. Get to the other half here. Okay. 
And I'll do the other half of the uh, front lip, so no need to watch the entire video just uh, to do a ceramic coating on it, but you get the uh, general idea. Okay, next what I want to do after I've uh, ceramic coated the lip, I want to actually take off these, uh, these uh, screws here. I'm going to take my 10 millimeter socket, make sure I have it on, loosen. want to remove these screws and I'm going to reuse them so I'm just going to put them aside okay. that's one and I got 12 to go through so I'll just do two and I'll do the, take off the rest later if you see my PPF is here not a great job um, so I'm going to actually have my PPF redone because there are some uh, some blemishes on the film itself so they're going to redo it for me uh, free of charge and then uh, hopefully they'll be able to stick it on all right so i'm going to pause the video here i'm going to finish the rest of the 12. i'm going to actually clean clean up the uh the bumper a little bit wash it down it's a little bit dirty so i just want to get a nice you know clean surface before i put on the uh, front lip what i also wanted to point out is that when i was uh, removing screws there are some plugs here that uh, would actually uh, loosen up the uh, panel here to get access uh, underneath the car for something. So if you actually put a front lip, it's actually going to cover these plugs. And you won't be able to get to it, uh, get to this panel if you need to, to get access or loosen it. Um, so what you unfortunately need to do is probably um, pull off your lip um, if you need to gain access. And this is on both sides. There's another panel on the left side of the car as well. All right, so what I did was I actually put on partially uh, the front lip uh, what I didn't do was actually I didn't put the adhesive on there because uh, at the beginning of the video I told you I'm getting my PPF replaced and they wrapped the PPF underneath uh, the bumper here So I want them to be able to pull it off um, Without really leaving a lot of film left over So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the front lip off before I bring it to back to the PPF to finish But I did uh, basically the right side and what I did was I just finger tightened the screws Over here on the left side it's still loose um, So I'm going to finger tighten those um, then I'll give you underneath shot of uh, simply just you know, how to replace the screws. All right, so we're back. So again, I just finger tightened all the screws back up uh, because I'm going to remove it later on. Um, so if you just see here, if I kind of wiggle, wiggle the uh, front lip, it's moving a little bit. That's because I didn't tighten it. But basically, um, it's good enough to give you sort of an overall view of what this front lip looks like for the G26. Um, here's the side. So if you want to go around the side here. It's really pretty much lined up. I actually thought there wouldn't be a gap here, as I think I saw from other lips. I'm not sure, so if people have other lips, let me know if you have uh, a gap between the, actually the bumper itself and the front lip here. Let me just do a pull away shot. That's, that's the front lip here. Let me just sort of give you a little top down of what that looks like. And then obviously the other side is still the same. Okay. There's still a gap. And uh, to the end of the bumper, or to the edge. So I think it was the perfect length. I think they measured it correctly. They got all, obviously, the notches correct. Um, the glossy look from the original BMW um, paint versus um, the actual front lip, glossy black, um, doesn't look that far off, right? So it looks passable. Um, I'm not sure, you know, people like the carbon fiber look, they do sell these in carbon fiber, obviously for a little more expensive prices, but what I really paid for the bumper, oh, sorry, the front lip, I paid uh, probably about 140 US. So for 140 US, um, you know, you, you got a decent front lip. All right, so hope you enjoy it. Thanks for uh, watching this video. So again, coming back underneath the front lip here, uh, again, these are perfectly cut for a G26. So if you notice these notches here, um, they fit right into um, the front bumper. Um, and then I'm just gonna replace, um, oops, oh, sorry. Again, these are the notches uh, that fit on the original bumper here. This one's not fitting too well, um, but we'll get there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, just finger screw in uh, the original screw just to get that up there a little bit. Down a little bit. Then do it for 
I'm just going to put that one here. Keep on going down the line. 